Good evening, everyone. In our daily liturgy, we quote a pasuk from Az Yashir, Hashem Yimloch Le'olam Bed, Hashem shall reign for eternity. In addition to the pasuk itself, we also quote in the concluding paragraph of Tila Ubal Etzion, we quote Targum Unklis of the pasuk. Hashem Malchotek Ha'em Le'olam, Le'olmei Almaya. Hashem, His kingdom is established forever and ever. What is odd about the Targum Unklis is that Targum Unklis translates the Pasuk from future tense, Hashem Yimloch Le'olam Be'ed, to present tense, Ka'em, is, is now established. Ramban al notes this discrepancy, this change from future tense, Yimloch, to present tense, Ka'em. And Ramban asks, why does Unklis do so? Why does Unklis tra- translate a Pasuk which is in future tense and instead translate into present tense? Ramban offers that presumably what is bothering Unklis is the potential heretical message of translating it Kipshuto. If we are to translate it Kipshuto and say that Hashem will reign in the future forever, so that it implies that Hashem is not currently now uh, reigning. Um, th- that is obviously not the case, and so Unklis, in order to avoid that mistake, translates it in the present tense. Ramban is bothered by this translation and bothered by what's troubling Unklis. The message of Hashem Yimloch Ve'olamved, future tense, is found throughout the Psukim of uh, the Torah and in Tanakh. For example, the Pesach in Tehillim writes, uh, shem Hashem May the name of Hashem be blessed from now and for always. We are not to uh, understand that as Hashem's name is currently not blessed. Um, nonetheless, the Pesach says, May Hashem's name be blessed forever. Similarly, the Pesach in Zechariah writes, Hashem lamelech al kolaretz, meaning in future tense, in the Yemot Mashiach, so Hashem will be the king over the whole land. It does not, over, over the whole earth. It does not mean that Hashem is not currently the Melech over the whole earth. Um, it is still, nonetheless, a me- message of hope that Hashem shall be the Melech over the entire earth. Um, why is this not heretical? So the Ramban explains that what the Pesach here is saying, and the Pesachim in Tehillim, the Pesachim in Zachari, the Pesachim throughout Tanakh are saying, is uh, that just like in this moment of Az Yashir, when the, we have Kriyat Yamsuf, where Hashem's Malchut is uh, very apparent to everyone, we are hoping that so too it will be apparent to the world forever. As in the words of the Ramban, Yihi ratzon milofanav, may it be his will, la sot kechbechol adorot leolam, that he should act this way for, for, uh, for always, lo yigra mit tzadik enav, he shouldn't uh, turn his eyes away from tzadik, v'lo yalimu min arashayim amarim, nor should he ignore the acts of the rashayim, which are things that we daven for all the time. Um, so the Ramban says that these messages are not contradictory. On the one hand, Hashem does reign now. As the Pasuk says, Malchut Malchut Kol your Malchut, which is currently now, is a Malchut forever. And nonetheless, we find Pesukim throughout the Torah and uh, wishes throughout our liturgy that Hashem's reign, we, we hope that Hashem's reign may be apparent, more apparent to all in his uh, rewarding of Tzadikim and his punish, punishment of Rishaim. Um, may we be zocha to have uh, more uh, kavanah in our tefillah, an understanding of our tefillah, to understand this uh, dual message that on the one Hashem, on the one hand, Hashem does reign now, and his uh, his malchut is eternal, uh, in, even in our current day. And at the same time, we wish for Hashem's presence to be uh, more notable uh, for the whole world.